A lawyer for a person of interest in the case of four men missing in Pennsylvania says his client confessed to killing them. 20-year-old Cosmo DiNardo said, I'm sorry, yesterday as he left the courthouse. Searchers discovered Dean Finocciaro's body Wednesday from a common grave. Jim Patrick, Tom Mio, and Mark Sturgis have not yet been identified. DeMarco Morgan is at the Bucks County Courthouse in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. DeMarco, good morning. Good morning. Just one day after authorities uncovered a 12 and a half foot deep common grave on the Donato family property, Cosmo Donato confessed to the killing. But there are still a number of unanswered questions this morning. How did he kill the victims? Why did he kill the victims? And did he act alone? That apology was all Cosmo Donato said to reporters as he was led away in handcuffs. Paul Lang, one of Donato's defense attorneys, said his client was much more forthcoming with prosecutors. He confessed to his participation or commission in the murders of the four young men. In exchange for that confession, Mr. Donato was promised by the district attorney that he will spare his life by not invoking the death penalty. An anonymous source with first-hand knowledge of the confession told the Associated Press Donato sold marijuana to the victim, but he felt cheated or threatened during the transactions. The source said the men were killed separately and a co-conspirator was involved in three of the killings. Did he act alone? I can't answer that. Text messages obtained by CBS this morning show Donato had been part of a group chat set up by friends of the missing men. When asked if he was worried about his buddy Dean Finocciaro, Donato called him a pill-popping junkie who probably just jumped parole. Those messages, as well as these Snapchat photos of Donato posing with a revolver, were first reported by Philly.com. Bucks County District Attorney Matthew Weintraub. I know more than I'm sharing on the relationships, and I have to keep it that way. On Facebook, Finocciaro's Aunt Tina wrote, I am completely crushed, heartbroken, and numb. Daniel Balbuena worked with Finocciaro. I'm going to miss him. You know, I feel bad. I just want to be strong for him because he was a strong kid, you know. Now, CBS News has learned from a source that it was a signal from a cell phone that originally led them to the Donato family farm there. And, of course, they are still working to identify the remains in the grave at this hour. Bianca? A tragedy for that community. DeMarco, thank you.